Okay. Oh, hello, boys and girls. Will here from Just In Time Prepping. Hey, I've been having some problems trying to get my videos downloaded onto YouTube, so I guess I've moved my vi uh, video studio down in to a different area of my home, and hopefully the sound's better, and also we all have a little more privacy down here. I've been trying to upload some... Uh, medical supply list that I have made up so that between you and me we can figure out what we need to have just in case shit hits the fan. So let's get on with that just so that I know I have enough time on the video. Number one thing I have written down is band-aids and the reason for that is because we're gonna have to have those and they come in different sizes big boxes, little boxes, whatever and so you need to have plenty of bandages and make sure that you get different sizes. The uh, second thing is gauze. You'll need gauze for the uh, gaping wounds. Or you can also use it to make you a sling, a uh, makeshift sling so you can get to some help. Also, let's see what else I got on the list. Uh, my eyesight. <laughs> Rolls of gauze, I've got that. How about some cow mine lotion? That's for in case you have some little bitty ones or even some bigger ones that have uh, allergies to bug bites, uh, snake bites, whatever it is. You can put some of that on them and kind of uh, help with the itching and stuff until you can get something else. Allergy medicine for uh, people that have allergies. Uh, I don't have them, but people in my family have them. So I have allergy medicine thrown into the box for shit hit span. Also, calamine lotion. Calamine lotion is good for all kinds of things. Petroleum jelly is good also, and it's not just good for medical supplies. It's also good as a fire starter. And uh, I'll be making another video showing you guys how to make a perfect fire starter out of petroleum jelly. Uh, bug bite relief medicine for the bug bites, uh, big ones or little ones. Uh, try to help relieve with that. Antibiotic ointment. And there's several out there. You don't have to get the name brand ones. Uh, Sometimes we just get programmed into using the name brand ones, and those are the ones that usually cost the much, the most. And uh, another thing I want to say is most of the stuff that I'm telling you about is uh, available at your local dollar store. So if it's not there, you may be able to pick it up at Walmart or some other name brand store in your area that carries uh, uh, stuff for your medical supplies. Uh, hand sanitizer. Now hand sanitizer, even though we're bugging in, bugging out, whatever, you're going to need to try to stay clean. So hand sanitizer is good for your hands. A little quick one on your arms or whatever, but hey, guess what? It's not just hand sanitizer. It can also be used for fire starter. Just same as petroleum jelly, and I'll be trying to make other videos of these things so that we're all sort of in the loop of what we can use different things for in, uh, in the SHTF world. Uh, another thing I have is waterproof medical tape. Now they have the plastic kind and you just put it on, it's kind of got like a texture to it and you just wrap it around the gauze that you bought. And also there's that fabric stretch medical tape where you can stretch it, tie it in a knot, and also it sticks to itself, but I like to tie it in a knot so it's not going to go anywhere. And another thing I have is cough syrup because you have little ones, big ones, so the real big ones that get sick, unfortunately, and when SHTF happens, uh, who knows what we're going to come down with then, you know. So cough syrup's a good thing to have put away along with some ibuprofen. Ibuprofen is good for the head, it's good for the joints, it's good for everything. 
Also get some uh, of that airborne. It's a supplement for colds and whatnot. And when uh, I was looking the other day, they even have a generic airborne. It's only about four, I think three or four dollars is what I saw the price on it. So it's not really that expensive. Three or four dollars and keep you from getting sick. And then, of course, I've got down uh, mucus uh, expectorant because uh, when shit hits the fan, we are going to probably uh, inhale some stuff that's not very good for us. And so we'll probably need to get the mucus and the phlegm and whatnot out of our lungs. Also, I saw this at the dollar store, and it was kind of interesting, is a uh, finger splint. Uh, uh, you can buy one at the dollar store for a buck, or you can go to like Walgreens or whatever. I think at Walgreens I saw one there was as much as eight dollars. That's pretty high, just for a splint for your finger. Um, also, there are several things that I need to add to the list, but I just haven't uh, really been feeling good enough to get out and do it yet. But as I uh, add to the list, I'll be passing that on to you guys. And uh, next video we do, we're going to be talking about barter items. And just so that you have something to think about on the barter items, is never trade what is necessary for you to survive. Because then you're going to cut yourself short and you won't have it. And then secondly, something for you to think about is... <clears throat> don't necessarily have to have items to barter. Sometimes you can uh, barter yourself because uh, maybe you'll be able to do something for somebody else that they don't know how to do and uh, be able to trade things that away. So those are two things I want you to think about uh, before I make the next video and then uh, we'll talk about that. So until then i'll see you on the flip-flop and thanks for listening oh one more thing i'm available on facebook twitter and patreon also here on youtube and i'm at facebook at facebook.com backslash through my eyes i'm also on page on uh twitter at patreon is uh will, excuse me at will is patreon and that's on Twitter. And then YouTube is uh, uh, Will Russell at YouTube until I get enough subscribers and I will get me a custom mural at that point. Another good reason for you to subscribe and hit the notifications button and leave me a comment uh, how we're doing so I know what to improve on. Or maybe you have some ideas that you want to trade, uh, trade with me. Uh, so until I see you next time, I would just want to tell you, tally ho, and have a great, great day. Bye-bye for now.